Hey Taurus, welcome to your mid-monthly uh, reading for January 2022. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of January. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So Taurus, let's see, what do you guys need to know for the rest of January 2022? We have Whale Song resonating, number 61. Uh, we have Lost Compass, Getting Back to Integrity, number 35. And we have Me Talks, Repairing the Mind, Body, and Spirit, number 39. This is like feels like getting back into alignment, recharging your energy. We have Lost in Space, Needing Direction. I feel like you're, you've probably been feeling that way, but I think you're getting back into alignment. Some of you maybe are needing to do this, like needing to take some time for yourself and kind of get things back into a higher vibration, a better vibration, one that's in alignment with you and your, in, your, own, your own integrity. Um, but it feels like with the Lost Compass, it's like getting back on track because some of you have felt like you're like out in space. So this feels like kind of like a recalibrating um, how you feel, where you're at, what's going on. Okay, so take time to do what you need to do in order to do that. Let's see. There also could be something specifically coming in that you are resonating with that is um, feeling good to you that you want to in, in, uh, put more of your energy into. So we have the Five of Swords, we have Chariot, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. So there's changes happening here. There is a shift in kind of like your direction or the energy, but I feel like... Um, you're going to be putting energy into something here. Some of you could be working on your physical body as well, is what I'm getting. That'll be for some of you. Like you might be like working out more or wanting to change something when it comes to your physical body, something like that. Um, but it does feel like you're trying to leave a challenging uh, mental cycle behind. Like five of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords. Okay, but we do have the ace here. So... It feels like Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, you're getting clarity and maybe a clarity on a direction that you're trying to go in with your life, creating changes, okay, rebalancing, reharmonizing justice behind that to rebuild kind of what you're really looking forward to or just even, you know, building some more stability in your life. But it feels like you could definitely be putting a lot of effort and uh, the five of wands and the eight of pentacles make you feel like you're putting energy and effort into something. You're getting clarity as to where to put that energy and effort, um, what you want to compete for, what you want to um, put work into. Okay. Cause the five of wands could be like a competitive card. So it's making me feel like you're, you're challenging yourself. You're working at this. This is something that you want to be good at. Like you're trying to strive for success. Okay, and with the Page of Cups and Page of Pentacles, there definitely could be, you could be communicating with a person, like it could be like a water sign. Okay, we have the Chariot and the Page of Cups here. But I also see you freeing yourself of something and overcoming a challenge or an obstacle. Again, some of you are getting back into alignment with what feels good or doing things that make you feel good, that feel like you're in alignment, Ace of Swords, you have the clarity. Some of you were really lacking clarity, didn't have the direction, okay? What's this uh, Five of Swords about here for Taurus? What's this Five of Swords about here for Taurus? For the rest of January, what is this about? So we have the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. So you could have been stressed out about a love situation, um, maybe a choice that you had to make when it comes to, it kind of feels like there's a lot of like deceptive energy though, like I want to say. Like I feel like this wasn't necessarily the most enjoyable situation. What's the chariot here? Some of you just caught in your own head about this. 
Yeah, we have the chariot with the lovers again. So making a choice to move in a certain direction, trying to decide. Again, you could have been really caught up in your own head. Five of Swords can be a card of our ego, but it can also be a card of like, it can be other people's egos, but it can also be an internal thing, right? Quite for the Ten of Swords for Taurus. King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands. Like, trying to decide what to invest into. Some of you are, the Ace of Cups is kind of what you're looking for or you're trying to manifest and bring into your life, but it's needing to overcome the obstacles of the mind in order to really make good choices for yourself that are going to help you overcome these situations. Um, others of you have been maybe very confused around what to put your time and energy into. Should you invest into something? Should you not invest into something? And I feel like you are, you're trying to figure out what resonates with you, right? Like what feels good to you? What, because seven of pentacles is a kind of an energy of like, do you want to put continue putting the energy or should you put more energy into it like how how much time and effort are we willing to put into something and are you receiving the payback of it um so let's see what this page of cups is here what is this page of cups for taurus here what's this page of cups for taurus we have the seven of swords what's this page of pentacles We have the Hermit. I feel like this is your energy, Page of Pentacles, the Hermit. I feel like you you don't trust a, a situation or a person. Like you might not have trusted a love offer or you feel like you've been manipulated somehow by someone in a situation. You're really trying to figure out, is this something you should move on from? Um, I feel like it's probably been stressing you out. And a lot of you have probably gone into a little bit of like a Hermit mode and not really... Um, it's like you didn't feel... You got to a place in this situation, possibly a relationship with someone where... It didn't feel um, like you guys were on the same page and it also might have felt like it took you out of where you wanted to be in life. Like it, you might have kind of stopped looking after yourself or maybe you felt very depleted by this situation or overwhelmed and it felt very chaotic. It's it's just, it took you out of your, your energy of how you want to feel um, day to day. What's this Nine of Swords? Yeah, we have the tower. Like, something specific could have happened here. What is this? Nine of Swords in the tower. Page of Swords. You could have learned something or found something out. Okay? Something that shifted your perspective on this relationship and this situation. Some of you, this could have been, like, finding out that someone had other people or whatever, right? Like, you just... There's something here that you've lost trust. And now it's about you letting that go and moving in a direction that feels good to you. Clarify this Ace of Swords here for Taurus. Sorry for the barking, we have a puppy and <laughs> he gets a little, he's a little sassy. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Swords, High Priestess, there's this clarity of your intuition and letting that guide you for a lot of you. This is Eight of Pentacles here. Nine of Wands, definitely not giving up and persevering. What's this Five of uh, Wands? The Moon. Yeah, there's kind of this internal struggle um, but I don't really feel like you're giving up on this. You are wanting commitment. You're wanting a stable relationship. You're wanting stability. You are in this place of, there might be some internal conflicts, especially emotionally, but I feel like you're, you're starting to trust yourself more. A lot of you with this Ace of Swords and the High Priestess makes me feel like this is you getting back into that integrity, like finding yourself again, being in tune with yourself and, and your spiritual guide. Um, some of you may have like a mentor that's helping you move through this energy but you're definitely determined to keep moving forward and accomplish what it is that you're wanting for your life when it comes to it feels like relationships it just feels like some of you kind of got lost a little bit uh in this situation that you were in and it's like almost like you had to kind of snap out of it um trust your intuition definitely like when when moving forward because with the high priestess and the moon coming out in this same row there definitely could be communication or someone wanting to come towards you here maybe one more here some of you might have some options as well yeah we got the ace of wands and the hanged man so there could be someone new um 
or there could be someone who's wanting to like fight for you fight for this okay there could be that but i feel like trust your intuition on that i think you're going to gain a lot of clarity and know the direction that you want it's going to feel listen to yourself internally because it's going to feel it needs to feel good but it also is like do what's right for your mind your body and your soul you're healing you're going through a lot of changes here and i think this is about you doing what's best for you temperance eight of cups um being very f sure of yourself and i think a lot of you are also ready for something new you're ready to surrender and to let the new things in and you might not know what that is you might not have that clarity but i do see it i do see you moving forward in a positive way quicker than you think too especially once you get the clarity and you feel like you're you know in alignment with where you're trying to go so let's see what is sorry <laughs> Let's see what um, your healing mantra is here, Taurus, for the rest of January. What's the healing mantra here for Taurus? We've got two here. We have sharing shame and we have balancing the brain. So yeah, there's that like that swords energy, right? So balancing the brain says I can be and do I can be and do all at once. And um, the sharing shame says, when I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be. So there's acceptance and realizing that you can, you can be who you are and go after and achieve the things that you want at the same time. You don't have to compromise one for the other. You don't have to compromise anything. Um, and, you know, dealing with the pain and the struggle that you went through and, and dealing with the situation that you went through is, you know, giving yourself time and, and not shaming yourself for the situation that you went through or putting yourself down. It feels like you needing to pick yourself back up, especially with this repairing energy, um, picking yourself back up and doing what you need to do for yourself and what's right for you and what's going to help you heal and move forward because I do feel like there is some deeper healing that's probably going on here and you getting back again into that like integrity of yourself and who you really are so this feels good this feels like a a releasing a letting go but also a lot of inner reflection more so of you getting back into yourself and who you are so that you can have the clarity to move forward and find what you're truly, truly looking for. So that is what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of January and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.